Hi, so um, I'm Irish artist Roisin and uh, you will already know me because you're coming along to our workshop in September and I'm absolutely really excited to come back again. I know a couple of you will have been from last year so that's going to be even better just to have you in the room and um, I'm looking forward to it, the fun. So it's a bit dark in here today. It's, you know, Ireland, it's raining again. Surprise, surprise. So what I want to do is I want to go through the materials list for you because you will be getting together what you need to bring. So we'll start off, first of all, with the easel. Um, those of you who came last year will know that we will work from tables. So a tabletop easel is really what you want. If you've got one of those box easels, they're really handy because you can put all your stuff inside it and put your painting on the top. Um, if you are traveling and any of these things are a problem for you, just let us know. Let Peggy Bruno know in the R uh, NRA or me here. You can get me at hello at roisinofarrell.com and we will do our best to sort things out for you. I know particularly with paint, if you're flying, I know um, some of you probably will be flying, um, so that could be an issue and we can sort that out. We'll, we'll order some paint or we'll, we'll We'll sort it out, it won't be a problem. Um, okay, so that's the easel. The next thing is brushes. Now, the kind of brushes that I like to use are a flat brush, a bright brush, they, they call them. So um, it gives a lovely uh, definition to the stroke on the on, on, and gives texture. And because we're working small, this kind of size is kind of what you're looking at. Now, you can get, and what I have on the list is the Galleria Windsor and Newton and that's kind of my preferred one. It's a synthetic brush and it's got a lovely bright finish. My daughter got to this one so it's pretty much ruined but if you look after them they will last a long time. The only drawback is that they are actually quite expensive. Um, these ones here and these ones here I buy in Ireland and I don't know if you can get them in the States, this one is called Create. You might be able to get that in the States because it's a big brand. This one is a Danish brand, I doubt it. But you can see that it's the same kind of idea. So if you don't want to invest in the Windsor & Newton, try and find brushes like this. And you want a selection of sizes um, from sort of small through to bigger. Let's see. So, you know, these kind of sizes. And that's my hand just for scale. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is um, you're going to need a palette knife and the palette knife that I would suggest, I use this fella here for almost everything uh, and this is a Reeves one and in terms of scale it's kind of that size and this is the smaller one and this is very useful for uh, working smaller on smaller canvases which we will be doing. So palette knives. If you are looking to kind of minimize the cost of all this stuff, then maybe just buy one. Okay, palette itself. Um, again, if you're flying and stuff, you'll want to be keeping things light. And what I would suggest you do is, and I didn't put this on the list, is to get one of those tear-off palettes. They're kind of like waxed paper. You wouldn't even need the full block of it and that would cut down on the weight. They're actually really useful because if you're traveling home, you just tear off the stuff and you've got a clean palette, so it's really easy. But a wooden one or a plastic one would be fine. I use um, a big piece of MDF that have cut, a uh, neighbor carpenter cuts them for me and um, it doesn't really matter as long as it works for you. So the next thing is paint and um, I have listed the paints that you need. I use the Windsor Newton, Windsor and Newton uh, student brand, which is called Winton and you're looking for the 35 mil version of this, okay? Um, and what we do is we work from a basic palette, okay, a limited palette and from that then you can mix every color you need. And that limited palette works off, I'll just read them off to you here and I'll put a picture up. Uh, titanium white, cad yellow pale, uh, lemon yellow, um, those are your two yellows. Two reds are alizarin crimson and cad red. Your two blues are cadmium, are, um, French ultramarine and cerulean. Uh, then you've got sap green, uh, burnt umber, which is my warm black really, which even though it's a brown, and yellow ochre. You don't need to buy black and I will tell you all about that in the workshop and why you don't. You will also need some acrylic 
just for the underpainting. And really, I use um, Windsor & Newton's Galleria uh, Burnt Umber, but you can use any brand of acrylic and it doesn't have to be that much. A small, a small tube of it will be absolutely fine. Um, right, the next thing is brush cleaner thinner. Um, please don't bring terps. I get mad headaches and turn into a were were werewolf. And um, but you know, there's a lot of us in the room. If everybody is where is bringing wearing terps, you probably will be in the end. If everybody brings terps, it just the fumes are pretty horrendous. Somebody told me recently that they did research and that uh, they were able to prove how many brain cells that terps fumes actually kill. And I thought, well, that explains a lot. <laughs> Anyway, um, what you can use, Gamsol, I was introduced to last year um, and we don't get that over here. We use something called Zested, which is fantastic, but you can't get it in the States. Um, Sansador is another alternative, but I think Gamsol is probably the best of them in your neck of the woods. So you will need something to put it into. You might have a little tub already and that's fine. If not, any little thing like that, little thing that found its way into my cupboards will do. And you will also need a little one for water as well for when you're working with crook. Um, I, you will use, I, I use this for acrylic and rather than using my palette. It's not going to be such an issue for you if you're using a tear off palette. But if you're using the same palette all the time, when you put your acrylic out and if you don't use it all immediately, it dries and it, it comes up into a lump. And eventually it ruins the palette. You have to throw the palette out because you can't scrape it off like you can with oil. Oil is more forgiving. So my little trick is to put it into the end of a into a jam jar, and then when it sort of builds up, I just chuck the jam jar and get another one. So that's easy. Um, canvases. So we're gonna paint small at the workshop, and I'll tell you all about why at the workshop. Um, so what we're looking at is six by six and eight by eights. Okay, any any at all, as long as, you know, canvas boards are fine or canvases are fine. Um, you can maybe get one or two that are slightly bigger than this, but really no more than that. I want us to do a volume of work and build up on what we're learning rather than on concentrating on bigger paintings. And landscape is fine as well. Maybe get some square and some landscape if you like. Um, Okay, you will need a couple of other small things that are just kind of beside the, by the by. Uh, I use a kitchen roll for cleaning my brushes and my palette knife. Um, and you don't call a kitchen roll. I get laughed at a lot for some of the things that I say over there. Um, I think you call it paper towels. So um, cheap ones that, you know, don't be spending a lot of money. Baby wipes are always handy to have when you go to a workshop. Um, what else? What else? Um, yeah, I don't recommend rags because they just, the paint gets onto the rag, then you turn it over and it gets onto your hand, it gets onto the brush, it gets into your hair, it gets onto your clothes, it gets onto the dog. You know, it's just uh, never ends. Um, all right, you will also need, we will be doing some sketching. And again, I use sugar paper, which I don't think translates to American. I, nobody seemed to know what sugar paper was the last time I was there. But basically any kind of cheap sketching paper, or you can use a sketch pad, ring bound sketch pad, that would be fine. But just, uh, you know, some sheets of, of cheap, uh, basic sketching paper is absolutely fine. We're really, it's just preparation sketches for our painting, so it's not gonna be any big deal. Um, and you will need either a soft pencil or some thin charcoal for the actual sketching. And then I'm gonna give you loads of um, notes. I will give you all the notes from the, the three days and I will also give you videos and all sorts of other things. So you're not really going to need a lot of note taking, but if you do, you know, you might want to bring along some paper and a pen. There will be a couple of times that we're gonna do stuff where you may need to write things down and remember things. So that is pretty much it. Um, I'm absolutely looking forward to seeing you all and to coming back to the States. Um, NRA, North River Arts Society, they've been doing workshops forever, so they really know what they're doing. I know a lot of the people there and they're absolutely fantastic. Last year we had such a good time. 
Um, I don't want you to worry about anything. I don't want you to feel that I am a good enough artist, that other people will be better than me. You know, is it going to be my level? It's everybody is in the room with a com common goal and that is we love to paint and that is it. You know, it'll be great fun. So um, that's it for now. Until the next time, um, take care. See you then.